Hello guys, this is Caesar Creates, and welcome back to my channel. I know that we had a bit different plans for the next episode of the Elm Hill City Zoo, but the developers of Planet Zoo surprised us with a new a free anniversary animal, which is the Red Deer. And I feel like the Red Deer is a perfect addition to the Elm Hill City Zoo, so of course I wanted to build a habitat and add it to our zoo, so I hope you guys will forgive me. The next episode where we will be continuing our work on the wildcat house in this zoo will be slightly postponed by but of course we'll be back to it very soon. I don't think that I am the only person who is very surprised by the addition of the red deer to the game. I mean I am super happy that it was added. I was like begging for a red deer for a very long time. I don't know if you guys remember my reviews of the hero pack where I was a certain of like a bit disappointed that this animal wasn't added with a euro pack because this is such an iconic European animal but we sort of were expecting that if we'll get a new anniversary animal this will be something for the new walkthrough exhibits because we just got the walkthrough exhibit and it was available for all the players even if you don't have the twilight pack you can still place the walkthrough exhibit in your zoo but you don't have any animals for that that's why we sort of expected that maybe they will add something with the anniversary update or maybe it will be a reskin of some animal just like they did with the red raft lemur but no we got totally new animal and one that excites me like greatly i am super super excited for the red deer I see those guys very often, they are very common in the area where I live and also uh, on my travels throughout my country. They are very common like sight when you are driving on highway in Poland and if you have a good eye you can always spot some of those guys when you are driving on highways. Uh, but yeah, th those animals are really iconic in Europe, uh, they are large and in some of the European countries they are the largest animal living in those countries. Country. So for example in UK this is the largest animal. In my country we also have the moose and we have the bears so the red deers are not the biggest but still they are large. I've seen them so many times and I can confirm that they are very huge just as they are in the game. I saw that some people were confused or even surprised by their uh, size but this is the size that they have in <laughs> natural worlds uh, so they nailed that completely and I am very happy with how this animal looks it is totally beautiful like the male is so majestic with those huge antlers they really have really nice uh, color variations so yeah I am super happy for this animal to be added and I knew that I had to build a nice habitat for them uh, so this is what we'll do today we'll build this habitat next to the whole entire new section that we've built uh, for the animals from the twilight pack so it will be next to the raccoons the skunks and the red fox this is the perfect spot to add the red deer we also have the fallow deer uh, very close to it so uh, this is like this perfect uh, temperate section of our zoo uh, of course as i told you guys they are huge so i wanted to build a very big and spacious habitat for them and also i I wanted to make it look very dense with a lot of different trees and different foliage for them to be able to hide from the guests a bit because they are very shy animals. Uh, so I also wanted to like sort of mimic their natural environment and and also just make it a bit more interesting with different terrain elevations. Uh, this zoo is called the Elm Hill City Zoo, so we need to have those hills from time to time. And this uh, uh, this habitat will for sure be one of the most. A hilly ones that we have in our zoo. But before we'll talk more about this habitat, let me announce that the first episode of my collaboration with Leader and Zoof is out on Leader's channel. I'll put the link down in the description and on the screen to this video. I am also featured in this video. All three of us took part in the recording of the voiceover for that first video. I had so much fun recording with those guys. Uh, I think 
think that the video is really nice, really entertaining. We have some fun jokes. And also Leader did some amazing editing that made this video even more funny and even more nice. So I hope you guys will enjoy it. I should probably start this whole thing by saying that the creation that Leader did is just like mind blowing. I think that he's a magician in Planet Zoo. The things that he can create in this game, they are just out of this world. I think that I probably need to admit that he's probably the best builder when it comes to all the builders in Planet Zoo. I don't think that I saw someone building in better way, at least for my taste. Uh, there are some amazing people, but he ju just does those really realistic thing. He also studies ar architecture, so that makes a lot of sense. So yeah, if you guys would like to see my reaction to his build, because this was the first time that I saw this building and I was totally like mind blown, uh, go and check out this video. Uh, my video actually will be in two weeks uh, because this is the time of Mr. Zoof to build. He is now building his habitats and on next Saturday will be his video and then it will be time for me to build something really nice. I already have some ideas uh, and then I will release my video uh, the next Saturday after Zoof. So I cannot wait for that. I cannot wait to start building. I am a bit overwhelmed, <laughs> I must say, about how amazing the entrance looks. So. Now I need to build something as amazing. So the zoo continues to look as good. I will do it. I know I will do it. Maybe it will take me some time, but I will do my best. I have a really nice inspiration for my habitat. So, so yeah, I cannot wait to start building and I cannot wait to show you guys my idea for the animal that I will be building for. But yeah, let's go back right now to the video. I will try to describe everything that happened on the screen while I was talking. And after that, I would also like to talk a bit about the Planet Zoo anniversary, about all the new things, all the exciting things that happened. So uh, stay tuned for that. But yeah, when it comes to the habitat, as I told you guys earlier, I wanted to use some of the terrain elevation in here uh, to make it look like hilly, uh, to make it look a bit more interesting. Uh, so I did sort of like a mode, maybe it's not an exact, exact mode, but the uh, like front part of the habitat is really like down, sunk into the ground like uh, really deeply. So we have this like huge, very high, wall that will prevent the animals from escaping uh, and we also have of course the fences around the whole enclosure. I use the fence that I created for the follow deers so if you like to see how I did it uh, hop over to that video. Uh, I made this fence a little bit like taller because those animals are huge and they also can jump very high so we have to consider that. Uh, I made sure that the fence is following the elevation of the terrain, so it's elevated when it needs to be and so on. Uh, you guys could see that uh, earlier in the video. I also added the fence near to the path for the guests. Uh, the, this is the fence that we created for the red fox enclosure and it is meant to stop the guests from falling inside of this habitat. Uh, I also uh, con like showed you the beginning of the plant of this you know this elevated planter uh, this is just to make it look a bit more like interesting and nice and also uh, I added some of this new IV on the walls of the habitat and I really love this detail I think it looks really new nice I love the new IV and I will continue using it in the future a lot because I think it looks just phenomenal I also added a little water section. This wasn't my plan at first, but then I remembered how much I love the water section, the little pond for the red foxes. And also I got so many comments from you guys that you like it. So I figured why not repeat that? Why not build it once more, just a little bit bigger? Those animals actually like to swim. They often are seen next to the lakes, ponds and so on. So I thought that it makes a total sense and also I remember that in my local zoo uh, the deers have a really huge enclosure and they have this pond in the middle so uh, yeah 
I wanted to make something like that. Uh, then I also added those terrain ledges that we've been adding a lot lately. I thought that uh, this habitat having so much, you know, different elevations will look really nice with those ledges and I was totally right because I love it. I also added a lot of trees uh, to this habitat. It was earlier, I think. I chose a mixture of different trees that I think look good together. I created also the custom tree guards because the deers actually like to eat the bark of the trees. They like to eat the branches of the trees and little leaves. Uh, so uh, to protect those trees from our deers, I had to add something like that. So after adding the trees to this habitat and after adding those guards, I had a bit of an issue uh, because I didn't know what to do with the rest of the foliage in here. The deers, of course, they are plant eaters. So I couldn't decide if I want to go like very like bare, like very simple without any smaller plants because they'll be eaten by the deers or if I just go full in and I don't bother about that stuff. Uh, I googled for some different deer enclosures and I was actually surprised because some of them were uh, very like muddy without any grass and so on and some of them were very like lush green with a lot of different grasses. Uh, and looked really nice and then I actually read that the deers don't eat too much grass they are the animals called the browsers I think and they prefer to eat the bushes the leaves the trees the bark and stuff like that not exactly the grass because the grass isn't too nutritious they will have to eat tons and tons of this grass they are like very big and strong animals uh, they like to eat the grass when it's really like young during the spring so in the spring springtime you probably can see them eating the grass but but normally they don't prefer to eat it of course when they are very hungry they will eat the grass but if they are well fed if there's a lot of leaves and other stuff they will prefer to eat the bigger and the more nutritious plants and when I read about it I of course immediately knew what I want to do here so I I decided to add tons and tons of different grasses. Of course, the main one will be the Dream grass, also the Yorkshire fog grass, but I will mix them with some like smaller different bushes to make it look really interesting. Like the foliage took me so much time in this habitat because it is simply huge. Uh, I think it has about like 3,000 meters square meters so yeah it is really huge but I only showed you uh, like a small part of planting the habitat because this video will be probably two hours if I <laughs> didn't like cut out all this footage. I of course also added tons of those smaller rocks for some details as you guys can see now and later in the video I will also add different details such as broken trees, some branches, uh, some drier things just as those uh, tree trunks like upside down tree trunks that I also always like to use uh, so they create those really small like uh, dry branches from the roots of the tree trunk it looks so so nice and and also I will add the decals on the entire floor of this habitat to make it look a bit more textured and you know add some dirt to uh, this entire habitat. I must say that the traversable area of the red deer is really nice. Uh, immediately after I put them in the, into this habitat they could use the entire habitat so I was really happy because normally I always have to adjust something for different animals but here it was just just, just perfect. There is however one thing that you need to consider that the traversable area of the female and male are a bit different. I mean this totally makes sense because the male is simply bigger it needs bigger spaces but I am not sure if in other cases the male needs more space than the females. This was really interesting. It was a very easy fix. I just had to delete like some of the tree trunks, I think, and it was able to use the entire habitat. But this is something to consider. I just discovered it by accident. I clicked at the female first and then I just like didn't close, I think, the heat map and, cl and clicked on the male. And then suddenly I saw that it's not able to use the entire habitat. But yeah, this is something to consider while 
while you are building for those beautiful animals. We are building this habitat at the edge of our map. Uh, we are like almost touching the area where we are not able to build. Uh, and I think that this placement makes a total sense for an animal like uh, red deer because they are, as I told you guys, a bit more shy. So putting them like in the center of the entire zoo or next to some kind of plaza, I think would be very like stressful for them. So I think that this little cozy area that we have for them is just, just perfect. And yeah, I am again really happy that they were added. I think that they are so beautiful. When I saw the screenshot when the, when the deer was announced as the anniversary animal, I just lost it. I was so, so happy. Like, I thought it is just perfect. And my prayers were listened because I don't know, I really wanted this animal in the game from a very long time. Maybe it's because we had this like a statue of the deer in the game from the very beginning so we were sort of like expecting that it will be added uh, eventually but you know no one was sure but yeah finally we have it and it was added as an anniversary animal which makes it even more special but and yeah when it comes to the anniversary let's talk more about that so unfortunately i wasn't able to do my own video covering uh, all the things that were added to the game and not only to the game where all the new things were announced i saw that many different content creators added their videos so i am sure you guys could see those but yeah firstly of course we got the new animal the red deer secondly there are now new balloons in the shops which is so so nice uh, in the loony balloons shop the guests can buy now the, uh, the balloons with the animal faces and there's for example red panda there's a tiger giraffe the giraffe makes me so happy of course and also when it comes to the game they introduce some fixes and other things that often come with an update uh, and of course there are some other things that are not maybe as connected to the experience of like playing the game but we have some other different things that are very cool for planet zoo and this is for example a new merch that has just dropped the new official planet zoo merch so from now on you are able to uh, order your planet zoo mags planet zoo puzzles planet zoo mouse pads and of course planet zoo clothing so you have t-shirts sweatshirts hoodies and i was so surprised for by this and I think that it is my favorite part of the entire update. Uh, I just love it. I already placed my order for some things and I cannot wait to have them. I will wear them with pride. I will use my giraffe mug because this is what I of course had to uh, order. I cannot wait to drink my coffee or tea out of the giraffe planet zoo mug. Uh, so yeah, really cool, really, really cool addition and I am, I am so like happy that we are able to support this amazing game by just buying those things. I am sure that the additional income will be very like useful for the Planet Zoo and its development. So yeah, really, really cool stuff. And I cannot wait for my order to arrive. Of course, I will showcase everything that I bought on my social media. So stay tuned for that. Also, from now on, you can listen to the new You, Me and Other Habitats uh, playlist on Spotify. Those are the new uh, songs from different DLCs, also the remixes. Uh, so you can uh, listen to this on Spotify and also add those uh, like tracks to the speakers inside of your game. And if you saw it anywhere on my socials and here on the YouTube I posted about this, I got uh, my own vinyl version of it so yeah i am able to listen to it i am listening to it all the time while i don't know relaxing or doing something uh, at my home it is amazing and it's so nice because i am actually collecting the vinyl records i have this player because i also saw that so many people posted that they need to now buy the vinyl players because they don't have anything to play it on but um but i am lucky that i have it so yeah i was enjoying it and it's so so wonderful there was also this anniversary stream on planet zoo twitch channel and youtube channel 
And they didn't want to celebrate this alone, they invited three of the content creators. Those were of course Rudy Rencamo, uh, Eben and Plastic Swans. And they even have some Riku assignment to do during this stream, it was so so nice. I'm not gonna lie, I was a bit jealous <laughs> about this. I wasn't invited, of course, but if I would be, I would be just like over the moon. But yeah, I'm happy for those guys, obviously. Uh, this was just amazing. And also, there was a question uh, I saw already that some of you like commented on under my f videos about it, that Rudy mentioned me during the live stream because uh, they were asked what are their favorite YouTubers plans youtubers right now and Rudy actually said that his leader Zoof and Caesar creates uh, such a coincidence because we are doing this collaboration together and they, he mentioned all of us so yeah that meant the world to me I already tweeted about this uh, tagging Rudy because Rudy was one of the people who inspired me to start my own channel so <laughs> this is just a full circle moment and yeah I was so so like oh my god he knows who I am like, like, this is mind-blowing. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, yeah. So yeah, overall, that was a really fun and amazing day for a Planet Zoo community. Everyone was so happy with the additions. The live stream was very amazing and entertaining. El Tanin, who is the community manager, uh, did such an amazing job. And yeah, overall, I was so happy this day. I don't know, there was something in the air about Planet Zoo that was just, just incredible. But let me go back to today's video because I am almost out of time and I still haven't like described everything that I did here. So besides the dead trees and some branches, I also added tons of decals to those uh, walls, uh, the front walls of the habitat to make it look a bit more realistic and simply dirty because I'm sure that those wolves will get dirty over time. I just love the person who came up with an idea uh, to do those decals, to add them to the game. Thanks to them, the builds look so, so much like better. Uh, they just, it just gives this additional like layer of life of things being like actually used by the animals and so on. So I am so, so happy that they were added and if this person by any means uh, is watching this video, I don't think so, but, but if they are by any means, thank you. Thank you so much. I also added uh, one amazing thing that I really love about this habitat and this is this new ivy on the tree trunks of some trees that are alive or, or dead in this habitat and I think it looks so so nice and this is also another thing that I'll be using a lot in my future builds. And then we went on to creating the shelter. This time I'll only show you the shell of the shelter so we'll do the facade and the roof. At the interior you will be able to see in the cinematics by the end of the video as well as the holding pen that I'll also create uh, later after being done with the shelter. So the shelter is used with the same technique that will be we have been using in this area of the zoo. I just thought it makes sense to make those uh, buildings here from the same materials. I think it looks really nice and cohesive so we use those wooden walls and also those stone like bottoms of the walls I don't know how to call it uh, and also we added the roof from the metal pieces that just as we did earlier this was inspired by one of the Ebens videos as I told you guys and uh, yeah I just love 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 adding this roof like this although this is not very peace count friendly oh no the video is almost done and I haven't got the chance to share with you any fun facts about the red deers maybe we'll build for them in the future who knows and then I'll give you guys some fun facts about them. Okay guys, so this is all that I have for you in today's video. If you enjoyed it, please consider to click the subscribe button if you haven't already, ring the bell if you want to be notified every time I upload a new video and of course give this video a big thumbs up down below. Also, leave me a nice comment if you enjoyed today's video uh, and if you are as excited as I am for the red deer to be added to Planet Zoo. If you'd like to support the channel a little bit extra, you can do it with the join button down below. This will give you access to very cool perks such as custom emojis, members only posts and members only discord chat. 
Thank you guys so much for watching, have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!